Welcome to Builders of Greece, a classic city builder set in Greece that has released into early access on February 27th, 2024. Now, as always, obviously, the price is different across all countries, so I don't know where your base, but to give you a bit of an idea, we're talking about 15 euros or $17 at this point. So obviously, we're not talking about what Ripple A of uh, Ubisoft, but it's also not 5 euros, right? It's a bit more than this. And again, this is early access, so we need to judge it as is, but we need to also understand what else will be coming. The developers have indeed actually shared some of the roadmap, but not all. And, you know, how are they going to deliver on it? That's another question. But without further ado, let's dive into the game, where we can play either sandbox or scenarios. Scenario for now, there is only one, so hopefully in the future we'll get more. But we do have one of the new beginnings when the war reaches the police. Here where you flee, right? And now we must build a new colony. The island is already visible on the horizon, and after such a long voyage, it is good to finally feel the solid land under your feet. Fertile soils, virgin forests teeming with game, rich deposits of raw materials, and an azure ocean so abundant with fish they almost swim into the nets themselves. It is not an island, but an untouched paradise bathed in the sun, our new home. Exhausted by war, people have entrusted their future into your hands. Now it is up to you to build and rule a great polis where everybody will want to live. However, you will not face this challenge alone. I will oversee everything and provide you with guidance. And if doubts arise, you can always seek help from the archives with scrolls written by the most illustrious kings. So it is after this quick intro. Um, we have our guy over here. By the way, you can click here if you want to move. You can click escape if you want to just forget about it. Right. We have a first mission, build the Agora. That's our main building or center building. With the equivalent of the trading post, if you wish, in Anno 1800. We have our island over here. It's only one island, right, in the minimap. You can see some of the resources, for example, over here, right? We have some stone. Obviously, we have trees. Um, we have some clay over here. Now, talking about the, uh, also the map, right? You can zoom in, zoom out. I do think sometimes it's a bit strange. Um, the graphics are mixed of pretty nice, but also very rough. You know, I feel like many of the trees in particular are very rough. Um, so we'll have to see if that gets improved in the future. But at the end of the day, you know, it's a city builder for me. That's not the most important thing. What we need to see is the gameplay. Now, uh, our Agora is over here into our administrative building. We do have some nice um, key binding. All right, this is number three. Let's build our Agora. Um, I'm not going to build it too far from the sea. So maybe somewhere over here. The captain has already departed for the neighboring Police to establish contact with them. And the people do not know what to do. However, they long for a bustling city center, so you should promptly designate the place where the heart of your polis, the Agora, will be erected. Do you hear the buzz, conversations, and laughter? People are looking into the future with hope, anticipating a fresh start in this place. However, they do not wish to spend many nights in the Agora. We must build homes for the people and take care of their basic needs. The supplies we brought with us on board are dwindling quickly. So in the future, I don't think we'll listen to him if he speaks very slowly. But just wanted to show you at the beginning of their helping you. We have all over here also in the in corner the archives. The archives. Guidance. Thank you. Um, with, you know, movement the buildings citizenship right we can move from one speed to three speed those type of things we have also talking about the quick quick ui you know our money at the top and we have our population there are three tiers of population right now the first one is unlocked they're all homeless because we don't have houses and we have key resources we're going to be able to track other in the future you know i can already play some if i want these are going to be the sort of key resources we're going to start with. Um, we are going to have over here the technology panel, faith, 
population, economy, and just the normal menu. And at the bottom, as I mentioned before, we have all different buildings. So one is house, two is the road, and three is sort of the administrative building, like the warehouse. Then we have a lot of resources, you know, wood, fish, meat, etc. Some will be unlocked later. They show you what you need to unlock it. For example, this one is 80. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that, to be honest, but 80 um, farmers, we're going to call them. <laughs> and then we have the services with number five, right? For example, uh, to have water. Um, then military. There is indeed military in this game. And then finally, some decorations. So let's get started, right? We need to build some houses. So the houses need to be either close to the uh, Agora over here or close to a marketplace. Uh, this is basically their basic needs. So let's start with this. We're going to place a couple, oh, maybe blocks of four. And then leave one space in the middle for some decorations. And then we can do another block over here. Perfect. So we have done the first mission, right? Ten um, houses. I'm going to continue to have a bit of a grid here, right? this and um, i feel like this is not the easiest but okay can have one go to the sea perfect okay so we will need one woodcutter one quarry and one fisherman or hunting lodge let's do actually all of them so we're gonna want you know some of these resources i think there was stones you can see there's stones here stone there right that's pretty good we have also clay here and we can put probably fish here right so we're gonna do this one two fish i'm gonna put some wood there while we're at it we can see this is 99 percent uh, coverage so that's pretty good um, we do need a warehouse but before that let me also put well this is not actually a great coverage uh, we need more trees for great coverage of these ones and then we needed also stones the stones we have them over here let's go one there with the population growing you need to construct more homes and begin to craft basic utensils fortunately there are many rich clay deposits nearby which we can use to produce pottery Okay, so I've put also a warehouse over here so they can deliver. They could deliver to the Agora. You can see it is, you know, in range, but to have it close to the warehouse would be even better. Similarly for these over here, right? And for these there. Okay, we do need uh, also to start more things. So clay is going to need 80 people. So we need, you know, more slowly but surely we're gonna have uh, you know babies <laughs> so that's fine they are indifferent by the way right now which is you know sort of happiness level they have a normal level of tax um their happiness is going to be based on you know what you give them of course let's continue as they say to put a few more uh, houses oh no i did a mistake there but that's okay um, That is not at all what I wanted to do, sorry. So let's uh, delete this. Then rebuild those houses over here. That's the road we wanted. Um, that's okay. Okay. So we can delete this one. Good. Uh, we're gonna need also clay and ceramic. So we have some clay over here and ceramic can increase the speed by the way. Start getting to our 80 pretty soon. We did want it to also start making some meat to have different types of food. So maybe over here I see some marbles here I'm thinking. So let's go one to now this sign is because this is too far from the warehouse so that's fine we're just gonna place a home warehouse 
next to it right over here and we do want a road like this perfect so that's gonna start making meat now we have the fish here as you can see my fish and my meat okay so now next steps we need some wine for the wine we're going to have over here first the plantation plantation with fields now i'm gonna place the fields over here but those fields they will need to be irrigated with some water now for the water though i need some ceramic and then we're gonna have a warehouse obviously right and we're gonna have a winery that's going to take also some of that ceramic actually let me pause this because right now it's delivering the ceramic here when i need the ceramic to actually build a mill, you know so maybe i shouldn't have built this now we have ceramic over here uh, maybe i should also just expand my productions like right now we only have one clay pit one woodcutter let's make a few more so we're gonna expand this production maybe this side ah here it is we have one ceramic so let me build quickly the noya because the noya is going to provide water to all of this so here it is now we produce we put the modules we actually here it is we need six so one and we we'll fill the first jugs with wine it's time to create a place where our citizens can rest Okay. We must also remember that every treasure needs its defenders. For our people, this piece of land is like a dream paradise. A paradise we cannot afford to lose. We need a trained army to protect it. Okay, so let's build an army indeed, maybe in this corner here. Number six, it's the barrack. Just of the basic one right now. Hurries, help us. An enemy oh. ship is on the horizon. Oh no! Fishermen report that battle songs fly over the calm sea all the way to the shore. We must prepare for the worst. Do not delay. Begin recruitment. Okay, so we're gonna be attacked. We also have a new mission, which is to provide, you know, the service of. Uh, you know, the bar basically providing wine to all of my people over here so they're in green it's fine this is the ranch right you can see it so it is it's happening um we do need to protect from the raid the raid is coming over here right you can see this is the enemy ship so we have now uh, the minimap is not always working well um but yeah we have a bar here that's fine now we do need to create some people let's go All right now we only have access to the infantry basic one we're gonna create you know it takes a bit of resources like money and also it takes uh, some wood which we don't have but uh, yeah we have three soldiers now It'd be great if we can get a bit more wood quickly go for it uh, yeah for example oh uh i am uh, what's the problem i'm oh i need wood to make wood okay so that's uh something you have to be careful but uh, even more reason to have a second one as soon as possible are we going to lose our colony right away because we didn't have enough soldiers <laughs> come on i need a second wood Because they are arriving on my shore very soon. Yeah, wood is taking forever. The strangers have landed on the shore, and they do not seem friendly. We must protect our people and our wealth at all costs. Okay. Order your troops to confront the enemies. So they're coming over here, so I'm sending my soldiers. I only have three once more, so that's gonna be a tough one. <laughs> I think. Um, okay, it is. Let's build another woodcutter. Clearly, I should have put more on woodcutter. Yeah, they're trying to avoid me. Where are you going? Let's fight. Fight. Okay, they don't want to fight. So this is where the camera is also not really perfect. 
They do fight. I can see the health of my people. I guess one is dead. One is gonna die soon. Two are gonna die. They are all gonna die soon, clearly. Okay, not good. So we're gonna get uh, pillage, I guess. Not great. Not great. Let's see what happens. So they're all dead now. <laughs> and uh, they're stealing my money. No, nope, where are they now? The invaders proved to be skilled warriors. Our people stood no chance against them. Ooh. But fortunately, the enemies were solely interested in our resources. They plundered us and escaped. But next time, we may not be so fortunate. Indeed. We still have a long way to go to match the greatest. But our citizens continually dream of a growing prosperity and are eager to make the effort. They ask for the expansion of the Agora to consecrate the moment of great changes with a new jewel in our land. Okay, so indeed we lost. They stole 200 uh, drachmas and uh, 14 stone. And the next mission is to upgrade the Agora to tier 2, which costs 10 wood. Definitely we need to increase our wood and stone production if we want to move forward. We're going to soon also be able to upgrade you know, our population to second tier, get more resources and all of this. But I think that will be in the next episode. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below what you think about this game so far. You know, we're definitely going to do a quick let's play to get to the end of what's available right now in early access. But yeah, I think, you know, this has potential, even if there is some things still a bit rough for me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.